Hi, Tech Rabbit here. Have you ever wondered if you're running out of memory? Oh, let's check that. So, the best thing to do is to um, open Task Manager. You right click in on the taskbar and then you have the option Task Manager. And usually it comes up uh, with not showing so much details, but you can actually click on here and get more details. And then um, the best way to do is to look at performance and memory. And then you can see how much um, of the physical memory is being used. So you can see the ratio between in use and available. And uh, as you see that I'm kind of low, I'm running a bit low on, I think I'm running low on memory. Because I would actually like to have more free space for more efficient operation. And of course there are more complicated analysis you can do. I mean, uh, the main thing is the performance of your computer with multiple applications loaded or using the larger applications that you want to use. So if you start getting over, I, I would recommend if you start using up more than 80% of the available uh, physical RAM, then um, you're running out of disk space, and, uh, or memory, so <laughs> memory. And as you see, I have 16 gigabytes, so I would actually like to expand that. And um, then um, the next thing is to actually look at and see um, actually have. So um, the, usually I use this um, tool, CPU setup, which is actually quite easy to use. And um, then you can um, have a look at the memory directly. And here you can see, basically it'll show you or what you currently have physically installed. So um, here you have uh, DDR4, 60 gigabytes installed in a dual channel configuration and gives you the base frequency. Which you just double this if you want to get the values that they state for the memory. So this is 2666. Anyway. Um, and then um, this is the value you actually want to look at. This is the CSS latency, C1, uh, which is um, 16 clocks. So remember, yeah, for my case, I need to remember that. Um, yeah. I don't think it actually shows. Yes, here we go. So I've got to. Um, so if you go to CPD, then it'll actually show you, okay, how many slots do you have? So basically the only thing on a top level of one is interesting is the how many slots do you have? So I have four. And um, then you can see the first one is populated, the second one is not, the third one is, and the fourth one. So anyway, now we know how much uh, memory we well, um, lack of memory we have, we actually checked if we have some free space on the computer and we know what um, uh, default timing it has. And then, um, the next step is to actually have a look and see if you can have, find your um, motherboard manual either online or, or as a physical copy. And then it's good to check what it says about memory. Um, here in my case it talks about the Ryzen processor and, and basically here you have the configuration that you can have. So it'll tell you how many slots you have, what's the maximum amount of memory you can have in the computer and then um, what um, uh, speeds it actually supports. And um, then we need to also look. So it's DDR4 DIMMs that are used See here we have four slots. System memory, and then uh, yeah here, and then you need to look at what kind of configurations you have. But basically, I mean, in in my case, I'm going to be just adding because I know that I, as we looked, that we have two populated slots, and then there are two free. So I'm basically going to add two more, and. Um, uh, the CL timing is 16, so I need to 
they recommend having the same timing. Um, so I purchased this kit. It's a bit of a giveaway because it, al it already states that it um, supports Ryzen. <laughs> and here's the details. So you see, you have the CL16 timing. Oh, it's a difficult shot. And then you see that it's two, two sticks of um, 60. No, so it was at eight. times 8 gigs, so that gives 16, and then I have 16, and that'll give me 32, so that was my thought. And, uh, yeah, so then um, the next phase is to actually install the memory, and um, let's get into that. memory sticks and then there's one section that's longer than the other and one needs to make sure that one puts them in the correct orientation going in the slot. And then the tricky thing is that one of these notches doesn't move and one of the notches does. That's my motherboard, so I don't need to start inserting it from the bottom. And then actually the trick you can use is you can check if they are on the same height. If you think they are coming, because you can't really see down into the slot very well. So I think they're okay now. So now it's just to boot up the system and see if it works. So the system booted since I'm here. Um, let's have a look. So that's cool. So 32 gigs was my objective and I have 32 gigs and then one can see actually the ah I haven't really got that much loaded but you know it, it's got a lot of breathing room now um, with this amount of memory so I won't be choking on this amount of memory. And I could actually um this motherboard I like I showed this as was shown in the manual it can go up to 64 gigs. So I can still uh, I could reconfigure by buying different um, memory modules. I could go up to 64, but I don't think I'll leave it like this for now. And then we should actually have just have a little look at CPU set also. So let me see memory. So it's also reporting 32. Ah, no. as as expected, but it's reporting that. That's interesting, cast latency. Was it dropped? It dropped to 15. Yeah. Hmm. It's a bit odd. Ah, I think it's probably just a little bit optimized the memory, so probably just a tick faster. 
Anyway, then we can have a look at SPD and then it shows the armor slots. So populated, 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 and populated, and that's what it should show. So after we install it, so make sure. So another um, successful upgrade, I would say. Everything seems to be working okay. Um, so anyway, if you found this video useful, um, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon to be notified for more. Uh, from time to time, I add more stuff to workstation and um, I'll see you in the next one.